good evening ladies and gentlemen uh, welcome back to this uh, another interesting episode of celebrating entrepreneurial success for people who are joining us for the first time uh, uh, a brief introduction my name is molloy chakravarti and i am a business coach and i have been i have been in the space of transforming businesses for the last 3 years now and one of the mission that we work with is to touch and impact the lives of 500 entrepreneurs every year so while our coaching programs could be limited to a few individuals few businesses around the country but the work that we do in terms of the seminars the webinars these kind of live shows is towards our mission of fulfilling that 500 Uh, impacting the lives of 500 entrepreneurs. We of late also have uh, expanded our business, and we now have exclusivity for the world's largest business coaching company called as Action Coach for West Bengal and Northeast, specifically Assam. So today I have a very interesting uh, gentleman, and uh, I'm hoping that his co-founder would join us uh, shortly, because she is in the midst of another meeting. But I have Mr. Abhishek Bose. Mr. Abhishek Bose of Calcutta Mantra comes out with a very interesting concept of T-shirts, and I will not speak more about it because we want to hear it from the man himself and the lady herself if she is able to join us. But this interesting concept is something that drove me into meeting them when I was in Calcutta about a month back, and the entire philosophy. of the business is so impactful towards society uh, in general and to businesses in particular i felt that it's time for us to have a detailed conversation and take the story to the world so good evening mr boss thank you for joining us on this on this episode of celebrating entrepreneurial successes so we have this converse in conversation with the business owners uh, every wednesday And and next week, ladies and gentlemen, we have a very interesting guest coming in right from London, who again is one of my clients and is setting up a disinfectant business. But that's for another day. Today we have Mr. Abhishek Bose. Mr. Bose, Calcutta Mantra. Good evening, Mr. Chief. We get into Calcutta Mantra. Yeah. We want to know who are you? What 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 was your childhood like? What 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 are you doing before Calcutta Mantra? uh was fructified oh wonderful miss miss metha is here oh lovely so give us a minute mr boss before you start because i want to introduce this young lady dynamic young lady oh i think she will lost connection okay let's start mr boss so who are you what what drove you into this kind of interesting venture called calcutta mantra but before calcutta mantra who were you yeah first of all uh, mr chakravarti i would like to thank you very much for inviting me in this uh, beautiful uh, uh, show of yours which you are you know uh, encouraging all the entrepreneurs uh, in favor uh, the meeting and so it's a very interesting platform and uh, we are extremely thankful to you for inviting us uh, about me well uh, this is uh, a journey which uh, i thought when i was doing my graduation Way back in the year 1988, 89, I had uh, something uh, a desire to do uh, something of my own, which uh, in a normal uh, middle class Bengali family, which is something at that point I of time was. I have to interrupt you, Mr. Bose, because we really want to invite this young dynamic lady, Meeta Bose. Meeta, welcome to this uh, to this platform and. Uh, you're on mute meetha so if you could unmute yourself uh we very rarely yeah. do you get am this. i audible yes absolutely absolutely so yeah. very rarely do you get to see young passionate educated who could be having a a flying career in and outside india to pick up something of this sort So we'll come back to you, Meeta. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for coming out of the meeting. We were hearing Mr. Abhishek Bose tell us his life story, and he was starting off from when his graduation that he wanted to do something. So yes, Mr. Bose. 
yeah but uh, as a middle class family uh, i mean uh, it's very obvious uh, middle class bengali family nobody uh, as usual was uh, much interested in uh, in something of that uh, letting me do something of that sort so uh, but i had that desire in my mind of doing something of my own but didn't have any idea what to do i didn't have any knowledge uh, whatsoever about a business and all those things so why basically what i wanted to have a an experience first had first hand experience of how things works uh just after graduation i i joined a company which was a d2c company uh, everybody was aware of that company called eureka force and eureka force was uh, at that point of time selling vacuum cleaners and i was uh, selling industrial vacuum cleaners so that was way back in the year 1989 when i just completed my graduation just to have some quick money or some something like that but things uh, from there it started you know uh, uh, i used to carry a 5 kg 6 kg machine in my uh, in my pack and i used to travel uh, in the suburbs of uh, bengal because i was selling industrial vacuum cleaners so i used to visit all those you know cot- cotton mills those are located on the suburbs of west bengal so that was uh, a time when i had learned a lot of uh, you know uh, customer handling and all those but those were direct uh, uh, basically direct to uh, consumer sell direct direct d2 sales i was there for about 4 years in 1993 uh, i got an opportunity to work with unida unida was a company uh, at that point of time was you know it was at the peak in the year 1993 sure. the owners and we uh, yes. never neighbors and we owners pride so i joined unida and i was based in bhubaneswar so i was working with unida and there i started the first uh, tasting the you know business how to handle dealers and distributors and all those things so uh, we were doing well i was doing well i we had a very good team of uh, you know uh, those who were selling directly or uh, and through distributors channels and dealers channels we were handling dealers we were handling distributors for a specific area again i was there for about 4 years 1997 i joined thomson thomson okay. consumer electronics okay and that was the time when actually uh, more challenges came to me because thomson was launched at a time when nobody knew what thomson is all about at that point of time lg was doing extremely well a bpl was doing extremely well and nobody knew what thomson is what what they are selling and i was the first person to be recruited for odisha and uh, you know i had to set up the entire uh, uh, distributor dealer network everything i had done of my own at that point of time because nobody was there i was the first person to, uh, doing i had to search for the office look at the office do the registrations everything and there i in the very beginning stage i had mr indrajit bose as our zonal manager in thompson and uh, you know one of the most flamboyant person i had ever come across in my life is indrajit bose okay. uh, and uh, and uh, you know i have learned a lot from him and uh, so 97 then i i was graduated to uh, to the branch manager level i was handling a branch of uh, the entire branch of odisha and uh, i uh, i was handling everything sales service everything every network about 25 people were under me at that point of time but again i that that desire was there to do something of my own but i was not getting the opportunity so after about 4 5 years when i uh, thought now it's something you know uh, we have to think of think of uh, doing uh, direct I have to involve myself in direct doing doing direct business again. I did not know anything about about it. So there, I thought a trading company could be probably an ideal scenario for me because uh, there I can get a first hand experience of how business works. So that point of time, I got an opportunity with a company based in Taiwan. Okay, a trading company uh, based in Taiwan. and i joined that company because i had the desire that i have so to start some, some so you went to taiwan yeah i was in china i was in taiwan wow uh, primarily i was recruited for opening up office in brazil sao paulo wow awesome so i went to sao paulo also i didn't know the language uh, i had only one bag in my uh, back and i didn't know anybody there i only had a phone number and i went all the way to sao paulo wow uh, landing there 
landing there and uh, i didn't know, know the language i didn't know the litigations where how to form a company because i was interested to open a company over there the branch office over there and i had to uh, you know uh, operate from there exclusively of my own so i was there for about 7 uh, 8 months in sao paulo i had done the all the all the all the things whatever i was interested i had opened an office I recruited some some people over there who knew english because english was a very difficult language over there sure. nobody understands english very few people understands english and uh, it was a very difficult terrain to work over uh, at that point of time so uh, there i had a i mean i had a very big exposure over there and the job was also you know uh, what i had to do i had learned a lot, lot of things over there then uh, one uh, one, uh, one day my father suddenly expired in calcutta mm-hmm. and uh, i was you know i didn't know about it i was later on informed i came i, I was on the way uh, back to since my visa was getting expired i had to renew the visa i was coming back to india but uh, on my transit my father expired and i was 12 hours late in reaching uh, kolkata my father expired the previous uh, evening and i reached uh, next day morning uh, anyway after that i had to sustain you know i i, I my mother was there so i could not take that uh, further uh, i i had a plan to go back to brazil uh, with my family with my wife and daughters but uh, that did not happen but okay fine uh, but i learned, learned a lot of things uh, from there from brazil from china from taiwan i had lot of lot of connections uh, from these places so now i try to implement those in here in calcutta i had a, a few customers you know uh, i started doing uh, since i had some you know connections in china and also developed some connections uh, in uh, taiwan and uh, this this these places so what i i did was i started the business of indenting indenting right okay so uh, indenting and uh, there are a few uh, companies who were indenting for the i mean they are importing for the first time so i was uh, basically guiding the, guiding them uh, how to import because uh, i was doing those export import over there so there from 2010 onwards i am of my own but still again doing this this kind of business only which was not something i mean uh, organized so this i had done this for uh, approximately about 8 8 9 years but i had a fear because of my school background i was from nowan nowan and south calcutta and our school uh, basically is uh, i mean they are they uh, they, they are very uh, encouraged about you know extra curricular activities we sure. used to do a lot of uh, singings recitations paintings uh, sports i was very much into sport, into all the all these activities of school so that fear was there but i when i could not uh, you know uh, i could not go ahead carry on with the, with those things but i had something in in mind that you know uh, in the long run perhaps i can do something related to this kind of things so in, in 2019 uh, sorry 2021 uh, i'm sorry 2021 uh, around september i visited one exhibition in kolkata of uh, paintings okay and there i uh, i i i met a, a few young people you know i thought their people were buying framed uh, uh, frame paintings of of of, of their uh, uh, from from there uh, there is a concept of uh, wall art the graffiti wall art now it is coming uh, everywhere hello yeah yeah carry on this carry on yeah yeah so, so the 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 graffiti wall art is now coming in restaurants in uh, cafes in offices so and also people are buying those frame paintings uh, for their home right uh, just to add value to that uh, walls or you know uh, to give it a aesthetical look so then this why can't we use this uh, paintings in something which we use daily which can give it an aesthetic look and moreover we can create an ecosystem where uh, an art an artist and fashion can sustain at the same time okay. challenges were enormous september onwards we started you know we we had this in mind and we became operative in the month of november 2021 these two months there were serious challenges we had the first challenge of you know selecting the right fabric because uh, right fabric was very important we i had 
personally i think i got about 15 fabrics from 15 places all over india somebody approached me from bangladesh but i i was not not very keen because i i wanted to stay in india uh, as far as my procurement is concerned so after checking 15 16 factories and uh, using my by myself then we came down to a, uh, we we zeroed down to a, a major factory uh, and from where we started uh, procuring uh, procuring the t-shirts we had the challenge of setting up a solid team because they are the you know architect of everything correct a restaurant having a bad cook will not survive correct so they are the people they are the pillars of this of this organization now we have about 10 uh, 10 people on board with with us today all they are brilliant people they are uh, they, they all over from all over bengal we we scout for those people i visit i regularly visit visit, visit different exhibitions i try to connect, connect them and now now uh, they are also started connecting me contacting me over phone uh, you we want to work with you or something like that now we then we decide on the themes myself my daughter my daughter is uh, is a, is a, is is a part of my no, no, want, to, want to want to hear more from your daughter because for you and me to to take these kind of jump at this stage of life is easy right that okay we have lived our life i want to hear from medha medha do you have your father's you seem to have your father's genes yeah right? uh, of taking yes 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 can i yes can i can yes, I yes absolutely my daughter medha is uh, as i said she is working with a multinational company at this moment and uh, maybe later on at a later stage she is she is in a very uh, uh, maybe at a later stage she she will uh, that she will decide what to do or not no. but, but she is my helping hand at this moment and she is supporting me wherever i am she is required and where, whatever she is mr boss we have met twice yeah right in both instances with you and your daughter together <laughs> i don't think she is a helping hand i think she is the soul behind this absolutely okay. i agree with you you agree with me right and i have met her only twice you meet her you are a lucky man you get to meet her every single day i have met her only twice she is the soul behind this the passion she she brings in is enormous and i i i certainly believe and wish and i'm i'm praying today that this multinational organization loses her very soon and loses her to calcutta mantra amen amen, amen. i i i hope so yeah no. i hope so so maybe you seem to have be having your father's genes of uh risk because the the business that you are in is a risk business right you would have safely taken with the kind of educational background that you have the culture that you have the kind of family that you have you would have easily gone anywhere in the world and done a fantastic job for a multinational why calcutta mantra for you at this stage of life uh thank you for your question mr chakraborty so on that i would like to say that you know getting a job first of all getting a job is the easiest thing to do correct and Oh, why would i want to put all my effort in making somebody in somebody else's company why not do it for my own company and when my own company is working for such a noble cause i mean kalkana mantra is definitely we are we are a business yes we have started but it was started at a very noble cause so i am extremely proud of that i can proudly say that you know we are contacting all these people from different parts of the of the bengal from rural bengal and and they are actually getting the platform uh, that they deserve and i wish to take them to to you know to different places just the, like their talent and their art so i think i am very proud of that and i would uh, and as far as the risk is concerned uh, i think it's worth the risk right i mean everything you, you do for your own self is worth every risk in the world so yeah that's about it yeah so i have this question to both of you and any one of you can take this the concept is fabulous and i think mr boss is living up to his onida days of uh, owners envy and oh, owners pride neighbors envy owners pride and all all those individuals who wears this t-shirt can stand up and say that 
owner's uh, pride and neighbor's envy because I have worn your T-shirt and I, I think it's one of the most fabulous pieces of garment that I've ever worn. Thank right. you. I have, and and ladies and gentlemen, anybody of you who really want to touch and feel that segment, please reach out to Mr. Abhishek Bose and Mr. Bose, if you could on the chat box, type in your contact coordinates, that would be fabulous so that people can reach out to you. Give us all your coordinates, your emails, your phone numbers, your, your websites, everything, uh, either Medha or you can do that. Because I think everybody deserves to wear your wear your product, and that's and and I coming in from and today I have a regret, and let me tell you this regret. Till last night I was planning to wear that T-shirt for today's call, but morning I forgot all about it in the rush, right? And then so but but I but my my images of wearing that T-shirt are there on social media, and people should wear it. So I have a question for both of you. So the product you look lovely in in the T-shirt, I must say. I think the t-shirt makes me feel more, more lovely. So coming from a young lady, I think I will take that as a huge compliment. <laughs> so the f concept is fabulous. Now let's talk about something more serious, right? The concept is fabulous. You are taking that, taking that product and the art of rural uh, West Bengal to the masses, right? What about your business model? How does that work? How do you ensure that Medha can give up her high, high paying salary job and come and create and join this business and take into the next level? So how do you expand? What, what is it that you're looking at or what, what is it that all you've done till now and how do you want to take that forward as a business? Because I'm sorry to interject. I'm coming Mr. in. From, I'm, I'm, summing, I'm coming in. So yeah. I'll, I'll address it to Mr. Bose. I'm coming in from a perspective. A t-shirt is a t-shirt. End of the day. How do you create that differentiating so that people can 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 create a business for you? Mr. Boss. Well, yes, please, Mr. Boss. Yeah, I, I actually I've lost uh, the link of this. Uh, can you just repeat the question? Yeah, so so okay, I think there was a connectivity gap. So the, my question is, the product is fabulous, the concept is fabulous, but end of the day, a t-shirt is a t-shirt, yeah. right? For a lot of us, a lot of people out there. How would, how have you been able to convert that into a sustainable business? Maybe not, maybe not thriving as yet on the way towards it, but you have created a sustainable business. So what is that business model? See, uh, at this moment, what, uh, the, the most important, the, the most, the most significant challenge which we are facing is, you know, uh, uh, educating the customers, educating the uh, uh, people who are being associated with us, who wants to buy the T-shirts about the what exactly what we are doing. That is the most uh, significant challenge which we, we are facing, facing at this moment. So, so the question, Mr. Bose, is. The question, Mr. Bose, is how do you make this into a business model so that your daughter Meda can give up her job? Simple. Yeah, we we uh, basic uh, end of the day, what we are, uh, we are what we are trying to do is we are, we are trying to reach more and more people. Sure. So now uh, we are trying to establish this, that credibility first because credibility in the sense that uh, so that people are in direct con uh, contact with us. Instead of you know uh, ordering on uh, your uh, through website or something like that, because that that credibility has to be uh, established first. Then it will automatically people will start uh, liking the product or uh, I mean uh, they will uh, go for it. And the business model as such is at this moment what we are uh, looking at is you know uh, increasing our visibility, our offline uh, presence. Correct. So for that we, what we are you know we have selected a few outlets in Kolkata. Mm -hmm. At the moment, can you where name we are, uh, at this moment we have a uh, we, we have an outlet called Read Bengali Books in Kolkata. That is, uh, which can you can say uh, it as a uh, college street of South Calcutta. So okay. they keep they uh, primarily uh, promote Bengali uh, literature, Bengali books. They are uh, they are they, they they themselves are a publisher and they have got a very uh, beautiful outlet out in uh, South Calcutta, just behind Lake Market. They are very selective about the products. Okay. So we, they have started keeping our products. That is an offline presence we have. 
there are a few other outlets also uh, who who have approached us for uh, keeping our products and uh, these are the these are the ways where we you know we are trying to increase our uh, uh, presence offline Fantastic. so uh, th- this is one thing and secondly uh, see i want to we want to basically place our product in such a way that it is not uh, people should not think that it is a uh, it's uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a cheap product we have to position we are we are trying to position it in a uh, premium segment where people understands whenever people uh, think about calcutta mantra or buying our product this uh, this will definitely give a value to the uh, to their uh, uh, whatever they are wearing so that that way we are selecting outlets which has got you know uh, uh, a name of its own and we are we are trying to place our products in, in those outlets only at the moment and as far as online is concerned we are trying to establish one is to one contact with uh, the customers so that any doubts about the quality of the product the, the size uh, color everything gets sorted out and then we uh, ship the product and one more thing i can tell you uh, uh, there are a couple of cases uh, about uh, replacement of the of the product because of size Uh, once the customer has said this particular size has not fitted me suppose they have ordered uh, a, a, a l t-shirt and when sure. it has reached there she want they they, they 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 saw that it is not fitting them they might be requiring m m m product without even waiting for you know the, the their uh, uh, t-shirt to come back to me i have ship ship the uh, alternate one without fantastic. even asking them fantastic so th- there are uh, two cases that has happened with us otherwise so far we have sold about 800 t-shirts uh, Uh, in the last 7 uh, 8 months of our operation oh that's awesome that's so uh, and also we are uh, we take pleasure in uh, also stating that we are also doing uh, job works for two or three brands at this moment oh, awesome. they have approached us for doing their uh, branding uh, their, their job works for them i don't want to name those uh, brands no, absolutely you can't you shouldn't so 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 uh, i am doing we are also being approached for that uh, that business also so we are doing that but again calcutta mantra has got its own uh, identity it's a uh, it is a something you know uh, we are just not selling a t-shirt we don't sell we don't say we are selling a t-shirt we are promoting art and t-shirt is only a media to promote that art and also uh, we have a something in mind uh, you know doing some workshop for young uh, for, for kids particularly so that they gets more more and more time to Uh, for uh, uh, practicing the art and uh, you know uh, they can engage themselves in uh, this kind of activities we are trying for that also so f- fantastic uh, that, no uh, for fantastic mr boss mr boss you, some of the th- points that you thoughts that you share are truly fantastic who says ladies and gentlemen that startups are not not working in kolkata who says kolkata does not have the entrepreneurial mindset but maybe that this question goes to you because most of the t-shirt wearers users are the youth right and you represent that youth what would you tell that youth of the world today or youth of calcutta today that why should they at least give kolkata mantra one chance when they are buying their next t-shirt right Thank you for your question, Mr. Chakravarti. So, I mean, I feel like painting and art is the most. Uh, I mean, we it it is the we do not get enough representation in terms of if we talk about paintings, if we talk about dance, if we talk about music. Everything else is very well represented in the youth, and people are a part of it. But art is not. So, for me, as as a part of a millennial, I would say, yes. I would say that you know, we. it is our responsibility to take that culture to sustain that art and by by and by you know switching to kalkata mantra we it is we do our part in that so i think that is a responsibility that we all should bear at some point that is my message to the youth and you will not and here is for for everybody who is watching me you will not be disappointed because all everybody who has worn the t-shirt so far be it like irrespective of age has been thoroughly satisfied and be the painting be the fabric be it, be it whatever so i would say give kagada mantra one chance and just do your bit to sustain 
art and the artists. That's my message for everybody. Oh, fantastic, uh, uh, Medha, because I think you're sitting on that tripod. Yeah. One of supporting the rural artisans, beautiful people, beautiful art. How do you take them to uh, 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 to the to the masses, right? The second tripod is about a high quality product that you use. It's not a low, it's not a low quality t-shirt. I have worn it so I can say with pride that I can wear it in any occasion. And, and I would not feel, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to hide behind somebody by wearing the t-shirt. The third is you are the driver of this entrepreneurial mindset of Kolkata, which a lot of people think are missing. And we know how it is thriving. And that was one of the messages that I really need, that uh, we all really need to take. Question to you, Medha and Mr. Bose. You have come so far since 20, you started in 20, uh, 2021? One November, yeah. First November, 2021. What is that big goal that you have? Not money wise, money comes, right? What is the big dream that you have, Medha, coming from the generation that you are in? And then I will go back to Mr. Bose and say, what is the one big dream that you have for the business of Calcutta Mantra? Peter. Yeah. My so I would echo my father's dream. He won, like when we started this, he, he once said that I want to like randomly watch, like uh, spot somebody on the road wearing a CM t-shirt. So that was the dream when we started it. And I think we achieved that in about what? three months so that was a beautiful dream that I thought you know just when you start and you just dream of spotting somebody randomly on the road wearing your brand I think it's a moment of pride and it's the first big milestone so I think that was the dream that we had when we started okay. which we achieved in three months and I think the next next would be I would want I mean I don't know maybe like we have sold the what, 800 t-shirts, I want to sell 1600 in the next six months. So, yeah. Awesome. awesome. Yeah. Mr. Boos, what's your big dream about CM? Why oh, first, oh, today I got to know CM is for Calcutta Month. Oh, sorry. Okay. I thought CM was always Chief Minister. The dream is... Yes, uh, yes Mr. Boos. primary Bose. dream, the primary dream as, a, as an organization, what we are looking yes. at yes. is maybe five years, six years down the line, uh, people should remember Calcutta Mantra maybe uh, as, a, as an organization which is just not doing business. We are definitely doing business. Correct. No doubt about it. No Correct. doubt about it. No one, nobody can deny it. Correct. But the fact is, we are doing it. We also have a social uh, cause uh, tagged into it. So people should remember as, a com as, an, as an organization uh, which has got some ethics which is uh, doing something for a social cause and obviously with, the, with, with, with uh, business uh, being the background and there are we want to you know involve people with us we want to involve people with us nowadays today we have about 10, to, 10 uh, uh, artists with us and everybody is trying to promote <clears throat> the product in their own way it was you know the, the, the thing is that is, I feel, is one of the reasons for whatever we have achieved 800 numbers in last 7-8 months is because uh, a lot of efforts has been put by, uh, also by, by uh, our uh, uh, entire team members. Sure. So that is a very phenomenal uh, thing that they are also doing and they are all excellent people uh, in, in uh, doing this job. So primary objective is Calcutta Mantra should be remembered maybe 20 years, 25 years down the line as an organization which is just not doing a business. They are, have some social uh, uh, concern about the preservation of art and culture, which I, which I feel personally, it's my, my personal feeling is, feeling is this, uh, this, uh, 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 this visual art, photography, I mean, uh, cinema is a visual arts that is definitely being promoted. Painting, does not get that mileage watch what it should get painting this beautiful uh, piece of works this uh, the artists are doing are uh, do not get the acknowledgement what it should get so we have a lot of other plans also 
which uh, right now uh, it's in a you know absolutely in a planning step maybe uh, one year down the line i would be able to give you more on that but uh, we have a lot of things in, in our mind which we are working uh, also a lot of other products also in fact products in the sense product means uh, all related to art all related to not uh, t-shirts not not exactly t-shirts something else have, but with but, but but with the art with the with the art with the art and artists with the because art they are the artists. they are the backbone they are the backbone Correct. today we have we have 10 uh, we, we we aim to at uh, aim to have 100 100 people more in, in about a year's time so that the ecosystem is created and about the themes a lot of people have told me i have faced this challenge also that this hand painting works you know does not go with the youth you are targeting your they, they have uh, told me that you are targeting your target audience is more than uh, 40 years of age that's what they told me so i said okay fine we will create for young generations also we are creating we are creating and uh, today uh, there are a lot of young people young, young generation people made us so many friends uh, have liked the the, the 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 products and there are random customers also who have liked our product so this is something a perception somebody said your prices are high i said again price is a perception price is a perception on online you buy a t-shirt of 2000 rupees from maybe a branded company one day will come you will not even question paying 2000 rupees for kalkata for t-shirts that day will definitely come sure 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 so that is my dream a company to be remembered as a something not exactly doing a business but have something uh, behind it that aspire, aspiration is there uh, within all of us thank you so much uh, mr bose and medha if you are around uh, the the message that i am taking ladies and gentlemen is entrepreneurship is thriving in west bengal an entrepreneurship is thriving amongst the youth of your west bengal medha is a great great example of this the other thought that i'm taking across is we bengalis and bengali business owners will always have a passion driven business and that's what again is coming out from this awesome father daughter duo my dream for for you ladies and gentlemen is for this organization medha quits her job by the 31st of march 2023 and she's full time into calcutta mantra because in the year 2023 24 calcutta mantra will be available offline in all the stores in many of the stores in all the metros of india and calcutta mantra will be one of the pride products that will be exported to europe that is my dream that is my goal that is my wish and that is my prayer for you late uh, mr bose and medha thank you so much for coming in you are an awesome uh, father uh, daughter duo and from my entire team of beyond red ocean consulting we have the warmest wishes for you our deepest prayers that you take your business to where you aspire yourself to do. thank you so much any last words uh, medha before we because this can go on and on and we are 7 minutes overboard but this conversation can go on and on but i still yeah. have the last words from you yeah, the ladies yeah. thank the, you yeah i just want to say thank you for the platform i think it's a, it's a very kind uh, initiative on your part to you know encourage the like, young and new startups so i think uh, so thanks to you i have met you in person twice and you have been extremely warm and extremely encouraging every time i've met you full of energy uh, so uh, thank you for all your enthusiasm and thank you for this platform uh, yeah that's what i want to say and i would like to meet you soon yes we are meeting we are meeting soon next week and yeah. and we will meet every month and we'll see that business grow thank you so much medha thank you so, thank so you. much mr bose for your time and uh, may your business thrive like nobody else's business thank you so much for your time thank you thank, thank you, you. Thank you.